you want to give them your intro? Tell them who you are, where you're from? Hey guys, my name is Dominion and I'm from Nigeria, West Africa. I've been in the U.S. for about six years and I recently became a high beast about two years ago. I'm big into Supreme, Off-White and Adidas. And I work with JC, or I work for JC at the UN. No, you work with. Oh, I work with JC at the UN. Together, united, as one. <laughs> one goal, one team. What else? So what's up everybody, it's your boy Jay, and I got my boy Dom. Hey guys. Don's, he's very serious it's about business. So we're gonna do another unboxing today of stuff you don't see every day, unless you watch it more than once, right? Yeah. So what do we got here? Looks like we got a, a boom box. I know. Technically it is a boom box. Do you know anything about what's in here without looking at this label? No. So this is from uh, a collab that they did or a promo that they did with a couple different colleges. This particular one happens to be with the University of Pitts Pittsburgh. Um, and they did a pair of Hirachis. This is pair 89 out of 98. So there's a pin. Grenade! No, I'm joking. <laughs> He, almost, he jumped, did you see that? Come on, Dad. And so, talk about what's inside the box. All right, so we got the shoes right here. Take them out. Oh, they got it strapped in, that's cool. Wow, these, are, they look, these look really good right now. Oh wait. What's that? He's got a piece of plastic stuck to it. A piece of plastic? Yeah, it had a piece of plastic stuck to it, but they're good. Yeah. What and size are these? Size 12. You know anybody that's a size 12? I'm 11. Well, just slide in them, bro. <laughs> Those are hype. You don't want them? I don't know. Harachis are a pretty comfortable silhouette. Like, that was one of the more popular shoes back in the day, I think. I mean, I think the fact that they did the gloves, like, it's just all very well done. There's gloves, yeah. it looks like a t-shirt. There's some sort of rope there. I don't know what the rope's for. I think that might be a belt or something. There's like a Pittsburgh Panthers plate yeah, really in cool. there. Yeah. Got its own dust bag. Is that a dust bag? I thought that was a t-shirt. Oh, it's a t-shirt. I mean, you could use it as a dust bag if you wanted to, <laughs> right? What yeah. size is the shirt? And it's an extra large. Oh no, yeah, that don't fit me. So these are listed at a thousand dollars. I think it's definitely more a collector's piece. I don't see this being something that you would wear. You know, I don't I don't know too many people that would wear the gloves, the shirt, and the shoes all at the same time walking down the street. Some people would. You would? No, I wouldn't, but I know people would do that. Would you do that? Do you know where the University of Pitt is? Pennsylvania? Where? Pennsylvania. Does he get the pass, Charlie? Yes. Do you know anybody that went to this college that played football? No. Do you watch football? I like like American football? Just the Super Bowl. Just the Super Bowl? Do you know anybody that went to this college? One of the most well-known wide receivers in the history of the game? Larry Fitzgerald. You don't know Larry Fitzgerald? I'm sorry, no. Yeah, man, this guy put up college? crazy numbers really when he was in college. college. This guy was a stud. I, I want to say he's probably one of the only reasons that Nike even did this collab with them. But, um, I mean, the details are pretty cool. The insoles say pit. They're a little dusty from sitting in the box, but that's to be expected. The insoles are two different colors. There's a yellow one and a navy blue one, or a that's gold cool. one. It's another shoe, another day. Dom, anything you want to say about the, anything else you want to add about the shoe or any promos that we got going on at the store that you want to talk about? Um, right now in store, we have used shoes for low prices of steals. So if you want to stop by the store and check it out. What's a low price and what are steals? Name one. Um, a steal is like way below the resale value. 
okay. and low prices are like huge, um, new shoes that are like no boxes and they put it at retail. So what like what name one shoe that because you said there's a bunch of steals. Um, so you gotta know one. It's not one itself. Bro. No cheating. Uh, we have the. It's the city side. Hey, you remember when we worked at AT and T and they would put us on blast and call us on our shit about stuff <laughs> like that? Mm -hmm. I feel like you're pulling right now. Is he pulling? Charlie, he's pulling he right is, now, right? He is. He's like, yeah, we got tons of steals. They're real good. Just pa trust. Pass by. Believe me. Take my word for it. One time. What will you do? I would say, can I get like a 20 second timeout? Maybe run to the sales floor and find out what we have on sale. I mean, you mentioned the sale, right? Yeah. Are you cleaning shoes back there? You're not on your lunch break, huh? <laughs> no, you're just sitting here staring at us. He's been doing that a lot, huh? He's like the guy on the couch on, uh, on Half-Baked. <laughs> he's like the guy on the couch that just randomly pays attention once in a while, but he's- Rob has the worst moment, though, on the camera. Yeah. Who, who's Rob? Oh, Rob. Rob. Yeah, Rob. He's on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I don't- I do remember my, I'm- It's early. It's early. Rob's on vacation for a month. Yeah. yeah. He's in living a... the life, that guy. He went to Paris. He went to Paris. And then he said he's going to like some other places after that. Italy. Yeah, and London. Italy and all over. Rob's our uh, supreme authenticator. Anyways, from here we go to Hong Kong for six days. Then it's Melbourne for five days. Then it's Kais's pop-up, September 10th. Teddy's pop-up and three-year anniversary for the store, September 17th. October 14th is Toronto. We're taking uh, E to Atlanta because these two <laughs> want to go to Magic City and turn up and have broads in Atlanta and all that other stuff. And, you know, this is a PG family ran business. I got, I had someone on Twitter today tell me that I should take my mom to one of the sneaker con events. And that's actually not a bad idea. So I'm probably going to take her to the next one that they announced domestically. So hopefully by the time that you watch this video, this is already live. Maybe it even sold already. Um... I, again, I know this isn't for everybody, but it is pretty cool memorabilia if you're a sports <coughs> buff, if you're a Larry Fitzgerald fan. I, I can see where this makes sense for you to buy. It's a size 12 listed at $1,000. Falls under the stuff you don't see every day category. Yeah.